Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to download the attendance report from Microsoft Teams. This is a super quick and easy tutorial. Um, so if you do find it useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are just within my um, supply chain general channel and I have a meeting that started at 10.30 just here. So I'm just going to click that. Um, and then from this meeting, I'm going to click join. Now, because I am using the new meeting experience, um, you'll see that actually my meeting here is in its own little box, okay? Um, if you don't know how to do this, um, I'll link a card just here. Um, that will basically show you how to enable this new meeting experience if it is available to you um, and your organization. Um, and it kind of walks through all the different functionality that comes with that new meeting experience. Um, with that being said, this functionality um, should also be available in the standard meeting experience as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just make sure that my camera and my audio is switched off and join the meeting. Okay, now I have this meeting uh, and I'm basically inside the meeting itself. What we want to do in order to actually access the attendance report is go to the show participants button just here. If we give that a click here, we can see all of the participants inside the meeting. Now, obviously this is just myself at the moment um, and no one else will be joining. However, um, I still have the ability to download the attendance report. Um, so from here, you can see three different options. There's manage permissions, there's the download the attendance report, and then there's the close. So straight away, this download little icon here is what we want. If we give that a click, what it's doing is it's actually downloading a CSV file um, directly to your C drive. Now this um, attendance report is only available during the meeting. Once you've left the meeting, it's no longer available to you. So what you want to do as the meeting organizer is basically, it, where possible, enable a lobby and then get everyone from the lobby into the meeting. Once the meeting has come to an end, you want to basically wait for everyone to leave and then um, download the attendance report afterwards. And then once you have that CSV, you then want to leave the meeting. Okay. So what we're going to do is go to my downloads here and open up that CSV file. And here we go. So we can see that um, I, um, Nick Regan, has basically joined um, the meeting. And this is my action here, which is joined. And it gives you a timestamp as to when. Um, so basically what you get inside your meeting um, at our attendance report is basically an action that the user has taken. So um, you tend to see things like um, when people have joined and when people have left. Uh, and you'll basically get that in a CSV file. It'll just be a long list of people joining and leaving with their timestamps. And from there, you'll be able to then use this information within, um, I guess uh, you could use this within Power Pivot or whatever it may be within your Excel document and then create a report to show who's come in, when they've come in, what times, how long they were in meetings for, and various different pieces of analysis from the attendance report itself. Um, and that's it, guys. It's, um, it's pretty straightforward in order to actually um, net download that attendance report directly from the participant pane within the meeting. But you just have to remember that it's vitally important that you do not leave the meeting um, until you have downloaded that report because once you've ended the meeting um, then it's no longer available to download. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did you know what to do and I'll catch you guys in the next video.